Android. Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, this video is going to be a little different because today, I'm going to be showing you guys the behind the scenes of the crafting den. So, let's get this started, shall we? So, we're gonna start off from the shaft right here. This is actually a shaft that we actually built along off camera as we were actually trying to survive from the zombies. This is where we actually protect ourselves from the zombies. It was pretty simple to build and it took a little bit of shorter time since we actually have more than one person to build it. Now, for the next thing, I'm actually going to be showing you guys the cave where we actually started protecting ourselves from these walkers and runners. It took so long to make the series that we had to build a lot of stuff. So this is the cave where Robot Fan's old pizzeria diner is. Funtime Robot Fan 42's pizzeria diner, close to animatronic malfunction. That's where everything was. Not much of a pizzeria. I think Robot Fan got lazy to be honest. So, we just kept it like this. More like a cave. But, yeah, we did use that. So, if you guys are actually wondering where, like, the houses were from the beginning of the series, let me put them up right now. There. Both of the houses. Those houses, let's just say that they were used to be old worlds of mine that, that previously got deleted. Because due to the fact of lag, it was, it was such a terrible experience. We couldn't even fight zombies. But anyways, onto the helicopter right here. The building with the helicopter. I built this recently, right after I actually mentioned the ending of the Crafting Dead. And there's a hole that Fiend made after he fell to the ground after I knocked him down. When I became a zombie. So, this is the helicopter right over here. That I currently built. Kind of difficult to build, but I did it. It wasn't easy. And the inside of the building was also kind of difficult to build due to the fact of the spiral stairway. But, I built it. It was worth it. And we've actually done it. And you guys are wondering where Robot Fans Pizzeria is? It's actually close by this area. That's why I'm actually showing you guys this behind the scenes. So, his pizzeria is all the way over here. I can find it. Somewhere around this area. Right here. There's his pizzeria. If you guys don't remember, this is the pizzeria where Funtime Foxy, Circus Baby, and Bon Bon start off his, their search to look for me and the crew members. It's Robot Fans, new and improved pizzeria. Under construction. Grand opening. Well, that's Robot Fans Pizzeria. On to the next one, is Molten Freddy's base. You guys might be wondering where that is. If you guys have been seeing the series, you guys already know where it is. Molten Freddy's base. So, his base is around this area. Near the shaft. If I can find it right here. Now this is his base. This is where Molten Freddy died last time. He became a zombie too. You know, it was really hard keeping the zombies in here. I had to put like barrier blocks right here. And this is actually a lot of hard work to do, guys. Trust me. Especially like when you have like a lot of people that just like fool around a lot. Except for some of them that actually cooperate. But they still did a good job working with me on this. But anyways, now on to the dome. The dome, Scrap Trap Base, along with Scrap Baby and Lefty, which never showed up. That base is still destroyed. And it's actually all the way over Oh, yeah, that's right. This is where I actually passed out. And then this is where we first met up with Scrap Trap. That's when Sixty was actually trying to wake me up. So that's where Scrap Trap was. And I'm getting a bunch of lag just by flying around this area. And the dome is just right over here. Right here. There's the dome. Not that far. And 
I have to do a little bit of redstone here from, from there. Here and there. It's kind of difficult to remember what type of redstone to put down for the lock sequence and make the code door, but I remembered it. But anyways, still destroyed. Such a sad experience right here. But it was all worth it. And the basement, which is currently blocked off, which I'll show you guys. So this is the basement right here. I'll open all the jail cells. Had to do a little bit of wrestling from here and there. And some of the particles are still here from the lingering potions. Same with there when I became Black Time Freddy. Alright, let's see. The lamp that Robot Fan actually put down. And the alarm systems. It took us a while to build this. But we did it. We had to destroy it too. And there's Fane's portal right here. Where we actually traveled through his dimension, which I'll show you later. Alright, and over here is our campsite. Where we first met up with Funtime Chica and Dolphin Lover. From FNAF Formers Universe. Alright, so. Here is our little campsite right here. Didn't even actually decide to use like, uh, what do you call it? A freaking pressure plate. Instead of the campfire to make it look like it went... It looked like it went out, but you know what I just found out? I just figured out something. See if it actually works in this update. You can actually literally put the fire out with a splash potion of water. If it works. Yep, it actually works. Wow. You see? Even I didn't even figure that out until now. Well. I could I could have obviously used that until I figured it out. Well, silly me. Well, anyways, let's see if we can actually move on to Fiend Dimension. See if I can remember where it was. I have to get back to the shaft though, so I'll meet you guys there. Uh, ah, excuse moi. All right. Anyways, I'm back in the shaft. If I can remember correctly, Fiend's Dimension should have been like at somewhere around all the way over here. Somewhere around here. Hmm. Somewhere around near Molten Freddy's base and somewhere around the pizzeria. It's kind of hard to find it. I just need to find Robot Fans Pizzeria as well. Just trust me, it's actually really difficult finding the stuff. This place is big, so... I had to spread a lot of stuff around. I'm trying to look for the little small building that we also built too. Okay, so here's Robot Fans Pizzeria. So it should be somewhere around this area. Somewhere around this area, then. If I can find it. Hmm. Trust me, guys. If you were me, you would have a struggle looking for... Ah! Here, here it is. Here is the little laboratory that was actually here. And there's the portal. And here is the little laboratory where we actually first found Zytro. And here is the cage where we actually tested it out to be for me to become a zombie, which I used. What was it? I, a poison potion. Called it the virus potion. It's the portal that I actually edited it to make it look like we actually went through it. it so it was kind of a pain to make the design for it. <laughs> we were like, no, 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 no. Let's make this. No, no, not that design. This design. <laughs> but yeah, it was actually such a pain. But. There was one place where I first met up with FNAF Formers. Well, not first, second time. Which was right here. Which is also the time where you saw the ending of Scrap Trap, Lefty, and Scrap Baby helping our Atlantica Baby and FNAF Formers. So, this is where I met FNAF Formers the second time. Brought him back. The fire's still here. Wait, actually, is this even the place where FNAF Formers was? 
Actually, yeah, it is, but the fire was still there. Wait, never mind. The grab trap place was actually near, like, somewhere else. Never mind, then. But anyways, this is where FNAFormer was. Where I met him. Once again. And, basically, brought him back over here. So, yeah. That's pretty much the whole, um, back behind the scenes of the Crafty Dead. Been working really hard on this, and man, it was all 50 episodes throughout the series. This is like the biggest series that we've ever done. But anyways, hopefully you guys actually enjoy. But before I actually end off this video, don't forget that we're actually gonna be making another series, and I put like a little post on my channel that way you guys could actually vote on which series you guys want. Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity, I meant. Um, Murder Mystery or The Purge. So, if you guys actually want to vote, I'll put a link in the description down below if I could be able to do that. Actually, no, I don't think I could be able to put a link in the post. For the post. I'll see what I could do. If I can, I'll try. But if I can't, I'm really sorry. But, yeah. Anyways, this is the behind the scenes of The Crafting Dead. Worked really hard on it. And let me get back to the shaft. Right over here. That way I can actually end off at a good time. But, anyways, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this awesome series that me and the crew actually made. Worked really hard on it. I think we've worked on it for like eight months. Because, yeah, it's such a pain working on this series. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this series because this series took a long time to make. I'm probably going to make that, I'm probably going to make it as a movie. It's gonna take a long time though, just like the Search for Enter movies. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Drop a like on the video if you guys actually enjoyed. Don't forget to have a fun time. Don't forget to vote on the next series that you guys want. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody! Cause I'm sure you'll be dead soon Keep delaying But we're staying The tables haven't turned And now it is your time to learn the truth